Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to manually resize layers to the exact width and height dimensions that you want. So here is a simple composition that I created. The dimensions of the composition are 1920 by 1080 pixels, and I wanted this to look like an open sketchbook, where the two blue boxes that you see there are the pages of a book. To create the pages of the book, we'll just use the shape tool. So make sure that you have no layers selected, then go up to the top toolbar, go to the shape tool. I'm gonna click and select the rectangle tool. I have a blue fill color, no stroke. I'm just gonna click to start dragging out a shape. If you hold the shift key, you can create a perfect square. But when you let go of the shift key, it's kind of up to you to get the aspect ratio the way that you want it. So I'm just gonna drag it out roughly the shape of the page. So in my case, I know that I want these pages or these shapes to be nine inches wide by 12 inches long. So to resize, first select the layer in the layers panel. Now, as soon as I select this layer, I notice that the anchor point is not centered. So to make it easy on myself when I'm scaling this shape, to center the anchor point, I'm gonna hold the command key on a Mac, control if you're on Windows, then just double click on the pan behind tool. And now the anchor point is at the center of the shape. So with the layer selected, I'll go up to the top menu, click on layer, transform, scale. Now I can see that the current dimensions of that selected layer are 610 pixels times 779 pixels, which is pretty great in itself to be able to just check a layer's dimensions. But if I wanna change it to inches, all I have to do is go down to the units where I can change the unit of measurement from pixels to inches to millimeters to percent of source or percent of composition. I'll change it to inches. And for preserve, it's currently set to current aspect ratio. So if I change the value of width, the height is going to automatically change to preserve the current aspect ratio. But I wanna break that link. So I can click the drop down and change it to none or the fast way so you don't have to go through this menu. It's just click this little link icon and that's connected. So now it's currently set to none. If I click it again, you'll see it changes back. So I'll go back to none. So I can just click to enter a value. You can also hover your cursor. You'll see it turns into a double arrow and now you can just scroll in any direction. I'm just gonna click and enter in nine inches for the width. And I'll go to the height and I'll enter in 12. And now I know the pages or shapes are the exact dimensions that I wanted of nine by 12 inches. And if I wanna convert the inches into pixels to see what the pixel values are, I can just change the unit of measurement from inches to pixels and that will convert it automatically for me. So maybe you want to create a shape that is the exact same aspect ratio as a vertical video that you'd find on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Stories, or TikTok. So with the layer selected, you're gonna to go to the layer menu, transform, scale. Make sure the units are set to pixels. I'll click on the little link icon as we do not wanna preserve the aspect ratio quite yet. I'll click to change the value for the width. We know it's 1080 pixels. I'll tap the tab key to go down to height and I'll tap in 1920 pixels tab. That's the right size, but it's too big for our composition. So all we need to do is just click the link to preserve the aspect ratio, change any one of the values. And now we can scale down knowing that we had the correct aspect ratio and we can just size it to fit our composition. I'll click OK, and then just use the Align panel to center it in the composition. Here I have three images and I want them sized exactly at 400 pixels by 400 pixels. Now I could guess using the scale or I could get the exact amount by going to the layer menu, transform, scale. For the units, I'll set that to pixels. For preserve, I'll keep it on current aspect ratio. I'm gonna click inside the width, I'll tap 400. That will automatically update the height. And now my images are scaled exactly the dimensions that I wanted. So when the scale property is not enough and you want to enter the exact dimensions of width and height, go to the layer menu, transform, scale. And my name is Mike Murphy, cheers.